hand the mic literally over to our executive director, Donna Collins, our fearless leader. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. It is so exciting to have all of you here. Um, I want to have, oh, I have to hold it up. <laughs> okay, we have a new budget. We should get new microphones. <laughs> I'd like to uh, acknowledge the great support we have from the governor of the state of Ohio and the legislature. As many of you have probably seen on social networking and the newspaper, the Ohio Arts Council uh, was awarded $34.5 million for the biennium to support arts and culture in the state. And we're so proud of the opportunities that we've been given to be a steward of that money. And we also could not go without thanking our board uh, chaired by Ginger Warner, as well as the advocates around the state who talk with their legislators, who made the case, and who make it so easy for us to tell the story about why the arts are important in Ohio. So let's talk about this exhibition for a minute. So how many of you work in state government? Raise your hand. How many of you have ever filed your IRS taxes? And it takes a long time, and there's a lot of people. So the idea for the show came about in 2014. I was sitting right there where the three of you are sitting, and I had a conversation with a gentleman who said he'd been collecting art since he was a child. And when he'd gone off to war, he took his first piece of art with him, and he carried it in his duffel bag, and how important that was to him, that he had something from home with him. And he said, I wonder why more kids don't collect art. And you know how that happens. One thing leads to another. And so um, I said, we should have a show curated by high school students. And we toyed with that, and we knocked it around for a little while. And somebody said, well, you've got to find the right teachers. That was easy. Um, so we know great art educators in this state. So it was my pleasure to work with Carrie Barnett, April Deacon, Mel Rainey, and Mindy Stately, and ask them to select students who would be well-suited to do this work with a professional curator. And so we're so happy that Erin, um, who looks very different from the last time I saw her because she's <laughs> with child, Erin um, was so gracious to take on a typical curator opportunity and really, I think, positively impact four young people's lives. And so, Erin, thank you for that. We appreciate you. <laughs> so we're making history. So this is the year we have our highest budget ever. That's history, good history. And this is the first exhibition in this gallery curated by young people. And we are so excited for the run of this show and the engagement they'll have. And I want to acknowledge um, all of them and also their parents for supporting their efforts and taking a chance to let them work uh, online, on the phone, across the state, and for them to get to know each other and then come together with these fabulous artists. So it's now my pleasure um, to introduce Kat Sheridan, the director here at the o Ohio Arts Council's Wright Gallery, and I know she wants to talk more about Erin and our artists because we couldn't do it without them, right, Kat? That's right. Okay, here's a special thing you have to hold a special way. <laughs> thank you, Doc. Thanks again for everybody that came out, and thank you again. Mm -hmm. Do you have to, nope? How about now? Yeah, there we go. All right, uh, so thank you again, Erin, for the, your stewardship with our students. Uh, thank you to Sydney Chabot. Well done. Of course, my We have Jaden Nagabong. I'm pretty sure I slaughtered that. I apologize. Um, with White Paul Yearling. I don't know if Jaden was here today. Kaya Armstrong. Thank you. With Colorado High School. Michaela Anderson with Illyria High School. And then additionally, I want to call out my name and artists. If you're here, if you could raise your hand or stand up. Um, Julia Christensen.
La Palombara. Art Douglas McLarty. And if Taryn McMahon wasn't able to make it, nor is Emily Momohara. She's over in China doing some work with students over there. Char Norman. Jolene Cow. Gregory Spade. And I don't think that Emily Sullivan Smith was able to make it, but Barry Underwood. students were able to do with the idea of nature and how different artists can approach it, um, whether it's through the materials used or really pushed through the idea about consumerism or how we approach nature, how we live in it, or how we see it. Um, each of these artists have vastly different approaches to the work that they created, and they have these phenomenal works that have layers upon layers of meaning and time and effort and years, obviously, behind them. Um, so thank you so much for all of your hard work in making this great state greater through the work that you do. Thank you again, and please come back often.